We're going to talk a little bit about boxed wine. So you're having a bunch of people over for, you know, drinks and hors d'oeuvres and you don't want to break the bank. You might want to think about boxed wine. It's come a long way and actually is, uh, there are some really nice, nice ones out there getting some very, very good reviews. Lisa G. from Festival Foods is going to show us around. Hi, Amy. Today we're going to talk about something that's becoming the newest trend in the wine industry, boxed wine. Most people think of boxed wine as the big white box that you can get really inexpensively, but there is a lot of higher end wines in the three liter category range that are really becoming all the rage. Um, today I have my wine expert friend Jim Miller from Badger Liquor with me. He actually is a representative of many of these wines and he's going to be chiming in with me as well. Um, these wines are also not only great for your pocketbook, but they're great for the environment. Probably the leader in this is the Delicato Boda Box. Um, this is 100% recycled paper. They use um, cornstarch instead of glue to hold it together. The inks are all soybean based inks. And all of these are basically recyclable, so it saves a lot on the glass aspect of it. Um, the price ranges on these run anywhere from $15 to about $22. Two of these, the Washington Hills um, Merlot and Chardonnay. This is a wonderful line that's actually got glass bottles as well. Many of these box wines also have the glass 750 ml variety. But these two actually were voted in Wine Enthusiast Magazine, 88 and 89 points respectively, and also one of the best buys. Um, Andy's Peaks is a new one. It's actually a Chilean box wine. And there are some under the $10 range, like the Corbett Canyon. That runs under $10, normally around $9.99. So you have a wide variety of price ranges. These are really, really great, too, for if you're traveling. They fit really nicely in refrigerators, even in the small hotel refrigerators. Um, they last at least a month. So if you're used to just having one glass of wine a night or two, a couple glasses of wine, you don't have to open up a bottle. You can store it in your refrigerator or on your counter and it's going to stay fresh. And also the packaging also makes it really nice for outdoor activities such as camping in the summertime, boating, picnics in the park. And it's also a really nice size if you're having like a big party. Um, you don't have to go buy all these bottles of wine. And we're going to see that it's actually very economical as opposed to buy, buying the glass variety. Thank you very much, uh, Lisa. Yes, like she talked about, the, the value aspect is, is very high. There's actually four bottles of wine in one of these or one of these. So roughly that's 20 to 24 glasses of wine in a box or a keg. This is something that's very new, which is kind of nice. It's a mini keg. It's kind of neat. Again, good value. It's going to save you a lot of money. It's looked neat on the back bar. I uh, make a great gift. Obviously, we got some uh, gift times coming up as far as gift giving. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was black box. Now, this has been around since 2003, so it's fairly new. It's a fairly new category, but in, since then, it has become the best-selling premium box wine on the market, hands down. They actually uh, have, they get wine from around the world as far as Italy, uh, Washington State, New Zealand, and then obviously their California uh, varietals. So it's a very good value, tastes good, right to the last drop. These will last four weeks from when you open them, whether you refrigerate them with the whites or you don't refrigerate them with the reds, you still, they will last four weeks and the first glass will taste as good as the last. Yeah, and I would like to point out too, What's in this bottle, this red truck, red blend, is actually the same wine that's in this barrel. That is correct. So that gives you a good comparison. And on the black box, they just came out with the New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, which New Zealand wines are all the rage right now. I was recently at a wine seminar with about 20 different people, and we did a blind taste testing against the number one Sauvignon Blanc. Um, we didn't know what the two wines were, and almost all of us unanimously chose one wine which we were very surprised to see that it was black box and it actually, we tasted it better than the number one selling wine that's been on the market in the glass bottle. So truly these are good wines in a box. Don't let, them, don't let the package scare you. They're just a good value. They're good for the environment. They're good all the way around. So don't be afraid to pick one up and bring it home.